Hey, what's going on? It's Rick here. Okay, so I've got a bunch of new Nintendo Switch stuff. I almost said Nintendo Wii. Um, I just finally disconnected my Nintendo Wii, what, two days ago, actually. Um, it was a hard thing to do, but it sits up on the shelf, and if I ever need to pull it out, Pokemon Tournament, whatever it is, I feel like I can do that. Um, but I just wasn't playing it. So, um, But I do have a couple of things I want to show you today for the Nintendo Switch, especially this. This right here is a uh, Joy-Con charging dock for the Nintendo Switch. It's officially licensed by Nintendo. It's by Power A. This is something that I thought was coming out right at launch, but it didn't. And on Amazon, which I'm going to link to it... Um, it still says it's on pre-order, but I got this at my local Toys R Us. Uh, it's $29, and let me go ahead and pop it open. The only reason I picked this up is because I have an extra set of Joy-Con controllers, and I basically wanna make sure that I keep these things fully charged at all times, uh, especially with Mario Kart coming out on April 28th so that anybody who wants to play multiplayer can do so. So let's go ahead and see what we get inside. I'm really hoping there's a charging cable in here, because if not, and then that's kind of lame. Uh, it's supposed to charge up to four Joy-Con controllers simultaneously. It's got individual LEDs to indicate uh, the charge level for each Joy-Con, which is kind of cool. Um, and uh, weighted base for stability, and it's powered via USB. So there's my answer. Maybe we'll get a USB cable in here. Uh, actually, we do. So uh, let's see. What do we get? We get a Joy-Con charging dock for the Nintendo Switch user manual. That's this guy right there. Um, let's go ahead and take a look real quick inside and see what is in there. Super simple. It just says it's certified USB. Plug it into your Nintendo Switch dock and then slide down the Joy-Con controllers to charge. I don't think I'm gonna go about doing it that way. I've got surge protectors that actually have USB outlets on them. So I'm gonna plug the USB cable into that. Um, but here it is. If you guys wanna see this like in a more traditional style video, let me know. Otherwise, I don't think I'm gonna do another video on it. Hopefully this is coming in focus. It has a little bit of Nintendo Switch branding on the front of it. And it's got areas for four different Joy-Cons. I'm going to slide two of them in in a second here. It's actually pretty weighty. Um, and then we've got a USB cable. It looks to be USB 2.0. And there's some integrated cable management. This is not a detachable cable from what I can tell. So it is all integrated into the product itself. And there it is. So I think this slides in like this. Yep, just slides in like that, pops in, and not a super long cable, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to make this reach. It might. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to play, with, play around with it and see what happens. Um, but I've got a couple of extra Joy-Cons here, so let me pull these out and just show you what we're talking about as far as how this works. So they are marked on the top of this. Uh, it says left and right, left and right. So let's see if you can catch that there. I don't know. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. Uh, but they are marked. So it looks like on this side, we're going to pop in our right and on this side, our left, and they just slide down. They don't really lock in, um, which is fine. Yeah, they don't really lock in. So they just kind of slide down. And you know what? I'm glad that they don't lock in because that would kind of be a hassle to have to press the button to release these every single time. Um, but they pop in and out really easily. But it's not like they're going to go flying out if you turn it upside down. So, which I don't know why you would do that, but hey, there you go. So, um, that's kind of cool. A little disappointed at the length of the cable. It's not super long, so who knows? I'll give it a go, see what happens. And uh, it's a nice charging alternative to the, what is it, $29 Joy-Con grip charger? Why would you get that? It's the same thing as the Joy-Con uh, grip that comes in the Nintendo Switch box. It just has a USB pass-through on it that allows for charging. Go figure. Um, 
What else did I get? Well, let me go ahead and set that aside. I am still using my water field case. I'm pretty uh, excited about this guy. It works really well. And the screen shield that I actually have on this is the Spigen. So you're not gonna be able to tell, but there it is. I kept running into issues with getting lint underneath the screen shields when I was trying to install them. So uh, what my friend told me to try, because I know everybody says, oh, go into your bathroom and get the shower going and get some steam in there and then basically apply it. I did that and I still had some lint and I talked to my buddy who on uh, Metagamers Radio, the podcast, uh, which will be going again real soon here, kind of been on an extended break. He told me, you know what? Um, do it in your garage. That's where I do it all the time and I don't have issues with it. So it kind of makes sense. You don't really have carpet in the garage. For the most part, the garage isn't super cluttered with stuff. Well, maybe some people's are. Um, but it worked out really well and I don't see any lint or anything like that. So let me go ahead and pop these other joy cons in here and you can get the feel for what it looks like so there it is it charges two and two for a grand total of four and that's pretty cool i like that i can live with that so we'll see how fast it charges it let me set this guy aside so there's a couple of other things that i've got and i will talk about them on the channel soon um there's this kind of generic case, and I don't even remember the name of it. It is from uh, Unic, Y-O-U-N-I-K, and it's a hard traveling carrying case. So you can hear that. The thing that's kind of cool about this one that I like, it doesn't really have any branding on it. It's got a handle that's not super fancy, but it works just fine. And then on the inside, you've got this hard material, but then you have indentations on the inside for where your switch is going to fit. So you can pop it right in here and it's going to fit just fine. But then the other kind of cool thing about it is you've got one, two, three, four, five, another five. So that's 10 uh, slots for game cards. And then this pocket here where you can slide additional things in, which I put the play in, or the play stand in here and tested it out and it works just fine. If memory serves me correct, I wanna say this case is like $7.99 to $9.99, which is a good alternative to some of the other ones that are out there. Um, but stay tuned because I'll have information about this, an up-close look coming soon. That same brand, Yonic, has a tempered glass screen shield that you see right here, rated at 9H for hardness. I haven't tried it yet, um, but I will and I'll let you guys know. And then the other thing I picked up, because I was getting a lot of comments about this saying, hey, why don't you try the Orsley brand? Um, and so I picked these up on Amazon as well. And uh, I don't even remember how much they were at the time. I want to say like $7.99 or $9.99 for the case, which is, this one's really nice, guys. I mean, again, it's all black. There's no real indication of what's inside. Um, it's got a handle. When you open it up, there's, it's, a, it's almost the same design as a lot of these cases, but it has these straps here to keep the Nintendo Switch in place. It's got this little area of indentation here as well as here. This, I think, is to help with heat dissipation. Uh, and then these areas are for where the Joy-Con goes in. And then again, traditional flap with one, two, three, four. So eight game card slots in a pocket here that, yeah, that play, in, uh, play stand is going to work as well. You know, here's the thing. Um, and if you guys want to see more details on this later, I will. Uh, and then, of course, their screen shield that I picked up as well, uh, which is an 8 to 9 hardness, uh, oleophobic coating and all that. I haven't tried it yet. So I wanted to get those and give them a go and see how it works out for me. At the end of the day, a lot of these cases are really, really similar. I mean, take a look. This this i mean this one's thicker mind you uh different material but the concept for the most part is the same and there's only a few of them that are a lot different like the water field yeah it's not a hard shell but it's made out of premium materials this is the one i use all the time 
If I ever felt I needed more protection, I'd probably go and use the other one that's on my channel that I say is like the best case. Uh, and that's by, oh, Pelican, I think. Um, I have to go into my drawer and show it to you. Hold on. So I said it was Pelican, but it's actually RDS Industries and it's this one. Um, and you know, that's kind of the thing. If I ever feel that my Waterfield SF Bags case needs to kind of be put aside because I'm traveling and I want something a little bit more protective, then I probably carry this one because it's a harder shell, whereas the SF Bags one is not. And the SF Bag one, believe it or not, it's a little bit bigger uh, depending on how you look at it. So, um, but I like the materials of that, uh, Waterfield bag. So that's how I go between that one and this one, but you can't go wrong really with most of these. I mean, they're all at the end of the day going to do the same job and that's protect your Nintendo switch and transport and hard case or non hard case. I mean, after a while they get really really similar so it just comes down to price quality of materials and stuff like that so um but i gotta admit after looking at this little guy that i picked up today um i'm pretty excited about it i'm glad i picked it up so 29 bucks looks pretty good um, i'll let you know in the future how it does as far as charging but i have no doubt it should do pretty well um, and I just wanted to get a video out there because it's been a while since I've spoken to you guys. Um, I do have some other product coming on the channel that I'll show you in more traditional style videos. Uh, yes, Nutsack. It's a company called Nutsack. And they sent me a really nice bag. Um, this is almost along the lines of an uh, SF bag style. And this one is gonna fit a number of different things in it. So be on the lookout for that. I'm pretty impressed with this. Um, and then I have some other products that were sent to me, which I'm thinking about doing a potential giveaway on. Let me know if you guys are gonna be getting the new Samsung Galaxy S8 or the S8 Plus, because I got a box full of goodies from Aliar uh, for the S8 and the S8 Plus. Now I'm not getting one, so I can only show these to you in a future video here. You're getting a sneak peek at some of these now. Altyar is a really good brand. They make a lot of good cases, um, but I'm not gonna have use for these after I show them in a video. So let me know if you're gonna be picking up a Galaxy S8 or an S8 Plus, and um, you know, I may be doing a giveaway, so stay tuned. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber and you want to stay up to date on all the content as it goes live. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up as well. And uh, don't forget, there's an Overwatch event happening right now that I'm probably going to go hit up on and play a little bit right now. So uh, that goes through, I think, May 1st. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.